I want to show you how the cross product can actually give you the area of a parallelogram. First, let me show you a property of the cross product. For any two 3D vectors, u and v, the magnitude of their cross product equals the product of their magnitudes times the sine of theta. And theta, of course, is the angle between vectors u and v. Now, this result probably looks very familiar to you. It's very similar to the result about the dot product. The dot product, u dot v, equals the magnitude of u dot, uh, times the magnitude of v cosine theta. So it's very similar, but just remember that the dot product gives you a scalar value, right? This is a scalar, and uh, this lo does look very similar to this, but we actually have to take the magnitude of u cross v in order to get this result. So u, the cross product goes with the sine, the dot product goes with cosine. All right, now let's imagine um, a situation. We have two vectors. If we put the two vectors end to end, they will always determine a parallelogram in space or in a plane. And this parallelogram is going to have an area. Now let's say that this is theta, the angle between the two vectors. What would the area be? Well, the area would be the base times the altitude. So the area of our parallelogram, that's my symbol for parallelogram, equals b times h, base times height. And the base, in this case, is the magnitude of vector v. What's the height? Let's draw it in. Let's say that this is our height, okay, and this is a right angle. We can use right, uh, right, angle, uh, right triangle trigonometry to figure out that h is this length times the sine of theta. This length is the magnitude of u. And there we have it. This is our height. So magnitude of u sine theta. This is exactly the same as magnitude of u, magnitude of v sine theta. So that's the area of a parallelogram. It's the same thing as this. That's an area of a parallelogram. And since these two things are equal, it means that this also gives you the area of a parallelogram. And this is usually easier to calculate. So the important lesson here, u and v will always form a parallelogram. And the magnitude of u cross v is the area of that parallelogram.